All right, so now that we've got all of our area geometry inside of one single file, let's go and actually deform the terrain with it. All right, so we can see how we can pass the data into our HDAs. Okay, so we're gonna have to do a couple things here inside of Houdini. Uh, we're gonna have to update our project, our project height field HDA. And we're also gonna need to partition uh, these guys together because we currently have the layout geometry and we have all of the area geometry. And I need to send both of those into our project height field HDA. So let's do that first. Let's partition by index here, like so. And what I want to do is just send in the geometry on the other side right here. And I'm just going to set the secondary rule to all just for good measure. And we can also do dynamic partitioning because we want this to basically update if any of this stuff updates up here. Okay. So let's go and just cook this so we can see the results. All right. So we get our layout geometry and we have all of our area geometry here. These guys are really tiny. All right. But those are just our test. And if we double click on this partition, you can see that we've got our terrain layout BGO and we've got our area BGO. And I should probably rename that to something a little more useful, um, which means we should call this final area geo and then for the actual name here this is actually good to get used to so I want the hip name or I want the OS I don't need the hip name it's making the name a little too large for me all right so let's recook that all right and let's take a look all right so the output now is final area geo zero bgo dot sc that's perfect cool so let's recook this Take a look. There we go. So now we have our terrain layout. We have our final area geo. Awesome. So now we want to take all of that and we want to put that into our project height field HDA. So we send all that data into it. All right. So if we were to take a look at our outputs here, we have the layout geometry. And in the second output, we have our layouts geometry. All right. And so what we need to do is we actually need to update our PDG viz so we can see both of those. So I'm going to drop down a merge node and I'm just going to alt and left click and drag. And I'm going to change the PDG output to PDG output dot one. That's the second output. And you can see now I can toggle back and forth between both of our geometry or I can take a look at both all at the same time. So I can look at just output zero or output one. Cool. So I'm just going to leave that Merge like so, so we can see everything. All right, let's go back into our top network here. Just take a look, make sure everything is back to normal. There we go. All right, so what we need to do is we actually need to send in two inputs now because now we have two pieces of information coming in. We have our layout and our final area BGO. So inside of our HDA processor, what I need to do is add a second input. And that's all you need to do to update that guy. And then we actually need to update the actual SOP HDA. So that way it accepts two inputs because we're only ever going to be sending in, well, at least for now, we're only ever going to be sending in two pieces of information, the layout and the areas. Okay. So we can basically assume that we're only going to need two inputs. You might want to send in you know, more things later on, uh, which is totally fine. You, just, you can add as many of those inputs as you need. And it looked like uh, we actually scattered all over our layout, which is no good. So it's one thing I usually do is just put in a null node here and just set this to my display for that stuff so we don't incur the hit there. Okay, so we're just going to say deselect like so. And uh, maybe we'll change the, the look of this too. There we go. Cool. So to do that, I just hit Z on the keyboard. All right, so what I want to do is go back to my Project Terrain HDA here. And we're going to say Allow Editing of Contents. And I want to open up the Type Properties window. And I want to go to the Basic tab first. And we're going to set the maximum input to 2. Now I'm going to leave the minimum at 1 because what if I don't have any areas for this particular level? Then, you know, I don't want it to error out if it only has the, the one input. So I'm just going to set it to a min of 1 and a max of 2. Okay, and we can go to our input output and we can say area geo. Cool. 
hit apply, except so now we have a, a second input in our HDA here. Pretty cool. So I'm just going to create another file input and uh, again name this PDG output dot one like so. So we get the, the area geometry there. All right. And pipe that into my second input of my HDA. And then we'll just jump into the HDA itself. All right. And now we have a second input. Awesome. So what we can do is add another feature to our HDA. So what I want to do is I want to basically combine these two guys together like so. So we're just going to do a merge. So let's just take the layout and the area like so. Now this isn't really going to show much here inside of the, the particular Houdini scene here because all this stuff's you know really low. That's why you know we have the the level designers place them in in Unity. But now that we have those two merged together, I can just pump that into the height field project. All right, and we will get those guys projected onto the surface. So now the areas will basically deform. But we could take that even further, and we could take that result and pipe that into another project node. All right, so we're going to get height field project. So we'll take the result of that one, and this time we'll set this one to a minimum. If you want to, you don't have to do this step. And this time we'll pass in just the areas, like so. All right, so we're doing a, a min and a max project. And we'll just move these guys down like that. And I, I kind of liked it under there. We'll just leave it like that for now. Cool. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to save our HDA. Okay, so we're going to save the project terrain HDA like so. And then we also need to make sure that we save our top network here, like so. So all that is looking good because we want to test this out inside of Unity now. All right, cool. So everything looks good there. Yeah. So let's actually run this. Before we test it out, let's actually run this guy right here and see the result of our project height field. All right, so let's take a look at the cooked result there. And oh, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we don't report errors on this. It doesn't look like, oh, there it is. Okay, cool. So you can see that our area is actually working. My apologies for the delay there. So it's best to put these guys on uh, no geometry. That way they don't error out. But now you can see that the areas are actually deforming our terrain. Awesome. So this should all work inside of uh, Unity now. So let's jump up and out and let's save our top network here. Cool. Make sure that this guy is set to the output. Awesome. And let's go back into Unity now and test all this out. We should be able to get this particular area of the train all flattened out. So I need to transfer over the new HDA to my Unity project. So I'm going to copy and paste this guy over here. Awesome. Cool, and we just need to do a rebuild right here. And for our areas, what I want to do is drop in our area HDA. Awesome. So if everything went well, we should now be able to go to our PDG link here. And what we can do is we can go and just test out this particular node itself. So we can say dirty the node here, and let's dirty all there we go. So now we did a refresh reset. We'll dirty all. There we go. And what I want to do is just select the project height field. And we will then cook this particular node. So just this node. So now one is cooking, so it's projecting. And there we go. So you can see that we're getting a little bit of a terrain deformation there. And because we have all the distortion, uh, we're distorting it as well. So we could always do the area projection after the distortion, if you really, really like to. Uh, but I'm going to leave it there for now, because what that does is it actually kind of munges it up a little bit for me. I don't know, you might want to actually move it around. So basically what you would do is you come in here, and we would go and into our SOP HTAs here. And in here, what we would do is we would basically, once we, we'd want to keep it after the slump there. Maybe we don't do any distortion. We just do it up here. Now you could have a secondary distortion, right? Just for the areas. 
that we have control over it. Okay, so we'll go and save that. And the cool part about this is we don't actually need to take this HDA over into Unity because it's all being fed into the top network. So that's really fast to make changes to your HDAs that are actually performing these operations. Cool, so now we can go back to our PDG link and I can say dirty all, there we go. And we are going to, again, just cook the project height field HDA. All right, and there we go. So if we were to turn back on our area generator, there we go, uh, we got it all working. And the cool thing about all this is we can go and uh, edit the curve. So let's just edit this here. And we'll just put this over there, and over there, like so, something like that. And we can come back to our PDG link, and we can dirty the node, and cook it again, and we'll get it to form in the terrain. Now, while this is cooking, I should mention that I went and uh, updated the SOP HDA again, uh, because I didn't like the way it came out the first way, and so I basically just separated out the layout projection and the area projection. So now there are two different ones. And, you know, we can go and add some distortion here. So we'll do a height field distort by noise, like so. And so we're going to actually have to mask it off as well. So we can use the area geometry for that. So we'll just say mask by object. Let's try to get this guy over there. There we go. Mask by object. Oh, we need the terrain, and this would be the mask here. All right, so we should be super tiny. That'll be our mask. All right, we'll see how that looks. Cool. So you could just keep going back and forth now. And I love the fact that I don't have to actually have all these HDAs inside of Unity anymore, just the, the utilities in our top network. All right, so there we go. So now we've got that guy in place. So let's do one more cook and then I'll close this particular video out. So let's dirty that and cook it again. Cool. There we go. So now we're breaking it up even more. So now it's got its own custom distortion. Awesome. So that hopefully clears up how to do that whole process of pulling in all of our area geometry and putting it into a single file and then passing it into our HDA processor so we can use it inside of our SOP level HDAs, okay? So let's move forward and actually use this to clear out our foliage as well.